Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I'm coming to you, I'm actually just in a bit of a recording room right now, I've been doing a bit of recording and I thought I've got 15 minutes left where I am and I thought I'd bust out this message for you guys in the hope that you get as much value from it as I have. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is this whole concept around being over responsible and uh, for others and I want to wake you guys up to how every single time you become over responsible for others you need them to be a certain way you're trying to help them you're trying to change them you're simultaneously being under responsible for yourself okay so what you might think is actually empowering and and helpful and all the rest of it I hope today's message is going to wake you up as much as I've been woken up by having this reflected to myself. Now, where did this come from? All you guys who are already a part of the Limitless Potential monthly masterclasses, you already know about what are called meta programs in NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. If you've never heard this stuff before, it's not as complicated as you think. It's amazing. Um, if you do want to learn more about this, I've done some amazing masterclasses on this. I've got many more coming up. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is what a meta program is, is ultimately it's a filter. It's kind of a way that we filter through what's valuable and what's not valuable in our being. And it shapes our behavior. It shapes how we think about things. It shapes our experience of life, okay? And our relationships, our results in all areas and ultimately one of the meta programs uh, is called uh, it's all about being either over or under responsible okay and what I mean by that is I'm going to use a couple of different examples in the hope that it, you can resonate with it uh, but if you think about say a challenge that you have in your life in a relationship dynamic so it might be with an intimate partner it might be in a friendship it might be with a family member it might be in your work environment wherever you're interacting with another human being and say there's a challenge going on I want you to think about it this way okay so let's use intimate relationship because it's just so easy to get to so and how to get to the challenge right so let's look at the intimate relationship and let's look at what I've experienced many times in my life and I'm sure some of you guys might relate to this codependency all right what is codependency it's when oh my gosh I need to make you happy I need to make sure that you're happy so that I can feel okay all right so the the challenge is is that and it might appear on the surface to be very loving but I want to wake you up so that you can empower yourself and get out of the victim role and the disempowering role and I want to wake you up to the fact that it's actually trying to be quite selfish and it's not getting you anywhere so let's look at that dynamic let's look at me in relationship with somebody and I've noticed that they're not in a good emotional state and I'm now trying to make them be okay. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, what are you not happy about? What's going on? What's, what's happening here? Like, what are you feeling? What's going on in your mind? What are you thinking about, right? And you get, you get, and you're like, well, come on. Like, you know, you should just create a better meaning here or you should be doing this or you should be doing that. You, you should be grateful right now or whatever, right? Whatever our, you know, our, our attempt to take responsibility for that person's emotional state or that we can turn it back on ourselves and go, oh my gosh, what did I do like that created this dynamic? What did I do to upset this person, right? We're being over responsible for that human being's emotional state. And what happens simultaneously every time we're over responsible for somebody else we're being under responsible for ourselves, right? So look at that codependent uh, relationship where that person's angry or upset and now I'm frantically trying to not, you know, tread on the eggshells or I'm, I'm frantically trying to be okay. I'm frantically trying to change their state and their emotions, right? Uh, and simultaneously, I'm not taking responsibility for my own emotional state. I'm relying on them to change in order for me to be okay all right so 
Think about how disempowering that really is. If you're relying on somebody else to change so that you can feel okay, and I spent majority of my life attempting to change the people around me um, that looked like I was being really loving and caring, but if there's any sort of have to, need, if it's affecting my emotional state, I'm being over responsible. I'm too responsible for them and simultaneously too under responsible for myself. So this has been, you know, a journey in my own personal life, but over this past week spending seven full days going next level in a neurolinguistic programming master practitioner course that I've immersed myself in, uh, ultimately I've been able to see, kind of take a more meta perspective, kind of look at, or not kind of, but actually look at objectively the dynamics that are at play in our relationships. And this was a massive wake up call for me, um, particularly as a coach for you guys who are coaches out there. You know, it's not your responsibility to change your, your clients or the people that you love and care about. You know, your responsibility is on your own emotional state. It's on uh, your own thinking, the meanings that you create. It's on your actions and the things that you say. OK, that's your responsibility. And that's ultimately all you have control over. So you don't have the responsibility of changing another person's emotional state, changing their thinking, changing what they say or what they do. Okay, you don't have that control. It is not your responsibility. It is your responsibility to take full control of your feeling, your thinking, your saying, and your doing. Okay, so if you have a relationship in your life where it's throwing you off and you're like, oh, they can't be happy or they're angry and it's upsetting me or it's making me feel sad, this is a wake up call for you to be self reflective. Observe yourself, observe what's triggering you. Notice that you're, it's not your responsibility to change another person's emotional state of being or whatever they're doing, right? It is your responsibility to then go within and go, okay, what is going on within myself? How am I being under responsible for my own emotional state? What meanings am I creating? You know, what emotions am I experiencing? You know, what am I saying and doing? How am I contributing to this situation? And remembering that emotional intelligence is your ability to make a situation better rather than worse based on your input to it. How do you do that? You stop trying to be over responsible for the people around you and you start taking full responsibility for your emotional state and your interaction with your outside world. So next time you find somebody in your life that you like jump to be over responsible for and shift and change them and, and feel affected by it, just hoping that this message will just create that little bit of space, that little bit of space is all you need to go, whoa, not my responsibility, my responsibility. And the best way you can ever support others, the people that you love, is to take responsibility of your own happiness, your own state of being, and how you interact with your outside environment not trying to control or change anybody. And every time you do do that, you're selling yourself short. You're not, you're, you're throwing away your power to the hands of um, somebody else. And you're simultaneously, you know, reinforcing to that other person that they're not able to make the shifts and changes that they need to. Okay. So stop disempowering the people around you. And when you think you're trying to empower them, you're not, you're not taking responsibility for yourself and you're trying to be too responsible for them, it's not working. So wake up to that dynamic. We all play it at some degree in some relationship, if not all of them. So I'm hoping that this gives you the gift that it has given me. And also I hope it triggers your, um, you know, your thirst for understanding yourself at a whole new level. If it does, please do join us in the Limitless Potential uh, Monthly Mastermind, um, la, 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 monthly masterclasses. We've got a new one coming up in a week or so. 
Can't wait to share that with you guys. Um, but we do have programs and, and classes and coaching all on this stuff so that it really helps you to you know stop being the subject in all the suffering and pain and actually look objectively on your life, your experience, all the dynamics at play and ultimately end your own suffering and set yourself free. All right, so let me check in with you guys. Um, have you got any questions or comments or feedback or you just wanna say hi, I love connecting with you guys I'm gonna check in with you guys now before I race off um, but I've got David in the house and Loki great to see you and John happy Monday to you too my friend and Tayeb's here and Judy and Jerry also from Quebec City in Canada I love love it great to see you again and Emma's here and Julie and Justin and Jerry uh, we can only be our true and authentic and good and remain open to interfere for the best yeah absolutely so Take the responsibility of your own authenticity and be true to yourself absolutely and stop wasting your energy and disempowering yourself and throwing your power into the hands of others and their emotional state of being um, by you know stopping the over responsibility in your external world and owning the responsibility of your internal world love it jerry and daryl awesome advice superstar thank you my friend great to see you again love love you being here and much love to you justin and jerry you're so welcome my friend great to have you here and jared's in the house as well great to see each and every one of you guys um, i love it when you can join me live i love it when you engage and join the conversation so drop me any comments um, on this topic or any others and i hope to see you guys in the master classes if you're not there already shoot me a message or shoot me a comment I'll um, get you set up. And um, as always, guys, I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering and that today's message has definitely resonated with you and got you thinking differently, got you taking a meta perspective on your life. Whatever we can go meta to, whatever we can look at objectively, we can overcome. Okay? Okay, so it is your power. And if you want to know how, what tools you need and how to be supported through those processes towards your freedom and your fulfillment, you want to be part of the masterclasses. So let me know. I'm signing off. Um, oh, I can see Sam, Sam's in the house as well. Good to have just met you over this past week and gone through a major journey. Um, and yeah, it was all good stuff with all of my NLP awesome peeps. So I'm signing off. I'm sending you guys all of my love and I cannot wait to see you soon. Okay, much love.